good morning. Um, welcome to this training, which is the Pilot Technology and Innovation uh, that supports youth inclusion in governance. So this training is very timely as we are approaching the parliamentary election and the local government election, which is a uh, which are, these two elections are very important to us because these are the two elections that most of us, the young people, take part. And when it comes to violence as well, young people are always in the forefront. Here we gather 75 people from different regions. So this came Manual and West Coast and also national youth organizations in this training. How young people can involve in governance level? Where we discuss with young people on youth inclusion and governance, and also how uh, will young people effectively participate in peace building. So it is important that we gather as young people to discuss uh, barriers of young people or youth participation in governance and also to look at issues that affect young people with regards to uh, peace and conflict. The topic that has to do with young, the role of young people in peace building and bringing it down to the context of the Gambia We've um, started the first half of the sessions, which really talked about young people, their role in the youth peace and security. That is the resolution 2250. And in the second session, we will be talking about resolution 1325. The project aims to encourage young people, how young people can interact, how young people can also contribute towards peace building, how can we contribute towards hate speech, to abandon hate speech, and also how can we also contribute to ensure that we minimize or even we counter the social bullying that we all are facing. Because we all know um, social media play a vital role in terms of disseminating information. So but these information also might be useful and they might also be harmful. And when you look at the percentage of the Gambia, we have over 80% of young people that uses the social media. So we believe coming up with uh, innovative ideas on how to use the, te uh, how to use the internet uh, through technology to be able to um, bring peace and mitigate violence in our country. That has to do with women, peace and security. We are bringing it down to the context of young people in the Gambia. The role young people um, would play when it comes to peace and security. The situations that we have been faced with as a country and how best young people can um, mitigate um, conflict. Youth have right to hold the government or the governance account, accountability. Because you have right to hold the government accountable. As the mayors or councillors, you have a big role to play in your communities. Because as youths, when in terms of development on other development in our community, you lag behind. Because I have been working with so many youths. Looking at the political dynamics of this country and the place that the young people of this country holds, um, it is obvious that the young people are not very much represented um, in the governance structures of this country. Um, examples of which could be taken from a national assembly, the local government, the representation that is given to the young people. Normally, the words go, uh, like the words of governance and management, people have the conviction of differentiating them. But then, there are two words which are different. If we talk about governance, we are talking about the structures or the direction that has been put in place by a particular board. But a management is headed by a CEO or a director who is responsible to run the daily affairs of an institution or a particular organization. So it is very important for us as young people to use social media judiciously. Let us give information that are relevant. Let us give information that we think can effect change in our societies, can effect change in the country. Um, it is rather unfortunate sometimes we just um, hear or see 
audios or information without even making um, analysis or without making even fact checks whether they are true or not we try to at least forward them to disseminate them do you know what will be the repercussion of those messages that you share when we talk about violence we have seen that most of the time when violence occurs, young people are always in the lead so we believe that uh, we can use uh, technology and come up with innovative ideas to to reduce uh, violence in our country and as well work on hate speeches uh, and uh, violence that are happening in our country when it comes to politics, elections. And in terms of peace mitigations of violence, you are in front. Everything you can see the youths in front. You are the one who light it up, then after it gets background. You don't have to allow that. We believe that it's very important as young people to get involved in peace building, especially with the upcoming elections. And knowing that Gambia is a new budget country that's going on the democracy and also getting to be enlightened with a lot of things that politics is involved with. But also how do we play our part uh, in mitigating violence in our communities as young people. We can conduct community outreach, even our families, at family level we can discuss. It is a sole responsibility upon us as young people to effect the change that we are all advocating, to effect the change that we are all uh, shouting always. But then what is most important in this training is for young people to be able to identify what these barriers are that, that hinders their participation in governance and also be able to come up with techniques that could really support them in order to be involved in the governance structures of different spheres of government and even in the local government structures. And we believe when it comes to governance as well, young people need to come up, take leadership roles with government, with institutions, but most specifically at positions or places where this should are meet. This is the local government, this could be at the parliament as well. But not only that, but anywhere that decisions will be taken by young people of the Gambia. I think you have to work with us. You know how the government works, the structures, the rules. You have to know them. This training is very important because it enlightens and challenges the young people to come up with strategies or techniques that support youth inclusion in governance and peace building. Raising awareness and telling young people more about governance and how the system works and how we can have peaceful elections as a nation and how we can protect our country and our dignity. As young people, let us be very much mindful for these politicians to use us. Let us be very much mindful to elect someone who can represent our voice, to elect someone who can represent our aspirations at the National Assembly. It is very, very good and timely for this kind of training to come for that is feed with the young people to sensitize about uh, the youth inclusive and youth participation for the upcoming election. in peace building which help which will help me um, in this um, coming election which is um, where um, we are going to select our uh, parliament, uh, upcoming parliamentarians who are going to represent us in our parliamentary um, to oversee our activities and other, other things such as um, our laws and also as young people we have duties and responsibilities to protect the peace and security of this nation one way or the other we also don't want you know, violence in, during and after or before the uh, parliamentary election. And this is the right platform for social accountability. We don't want hate speeches during the campaign. We don't want cyberbullying or social bullying during the campaign. We want us to accommodate each other. Let us accommodate all political parties. But at the end, anyone who is the, declared as the winner represent the voice and the aspirations of us. So to promote peace in our country, in our communities, in our society is very important in this crucial state and also to gather young people from different consequences and from different regions to talk about the importance of peace building and how we should maintain peace prior and after elections. 
we also want free and fair election that we all are yearning for and peace and stability of this country. The Peace Building Fund will do all its, whatever it takes to ensure that peace prevail in this country. But how will that be if, it is, if we see the willingness in young people, if we see the commitment in young people that they also want peace and tranquility to prevail in this country? So I only hope that we will make best use of this training. And from here, how this message can be spread around in the communities to also better impact the lives of young people that did not have the chance to be here today. It was really an interactive session where participants spoke about the things that we are faced with in our society, where participants also brought in issues that our communities are faced with. And I believe these are influential youths who would, at the end of the day, go back and impact in their society. We are the peacemakers. We are the peace builders. Don't be forgive up. We can make it in this country. We need your help. We don't leave you behind. We need your voice. Let's come board. We all work together for the best interests of our country and our community. And I will still challenge the females that are in the room here. I will challenge you in the next council elections. Please come out and contest. You can lead. And also from hearing and learning a little bit from what we have gathered from this event, and we hope you all also take this message very seriously. And we hope you also prioritize your nation, the peace of your nation, our communities and our family members. And also to look out for the greater good of the nation. We are thanking the UNDP who is um, uh, funding this event or the training through the Peace Building Fund. We thank the National Youth Council also for implementing this program. And we hope to see more and more and more because this these kinds of uh, training are very vital as far as the interests of the young people are concerned. Thank you very much.